Hey guys, I'm going to help you with Lesson 37's homework. And we're going to start off by drawing tape diagrams, two different ways to show a multiplication problem. So in number one, it says draw tape diagrams to show two ways to represent three units of 5 and 1 twelfth. So one way that you could do this is you could just simply do, okay, this represents 5, 1 twelfth, 5, 1 twelfth. And we're going to do that three times. So one more time after this and then five and one twelfth. And the instructions below say write a multiplication expression to match each tape diagram. So this one would just be three times five and one twelfth. Another way that you could write it is you could technically put all the fives together and all the one twelfths together to make it easier to add. So I'm gonna put five, 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 and then one twelfth, one twelfth, 1 12th. Technically, we still have three groups of 5 and 1 12th, but we would write this as 3 times 5 plus the 3 times 1 12th, and we still get the same answer. We're just writing it a different way. Okay, now let's look at number 2. They have an example here that shows a lot of steps that you could go through to answer, and there's nothing wrong with doing all those steps, and I would encourage you to do them until you understand why it works so you can make it a little bit shorter, but here it's starting off with they break up the six and four fifths into six plus four fifths and then they use the distributive property so they're saying three times the six by itself and then three times the four fifths by itself to make it easier to multiply and when you do that three times six gives you 18 three times four fifths gives you 12 fifths they turn the 12 fifths into a mixed number and then they add them together so we're gonna do the same thing here. So three times four and one six is the same thing as three times four plus one six. So we're breaking down that mixed number to make it easier to multiply. So I'm gonna say three times four by itself plus three times one six by itself equals 12, because three times four is 12, and three times one six is three six. So you'll have 12 plus three six. And when you add that together, you just get 12 and 3 6. Not that bad. Okay, let's try it again on C. We'll do all the steps these first couple times. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 times 2 plus 3 fifths. So those are just parentheses that I'm using to show that those go together. And then I'm going to rewrite it as 6 times 2 plus 6 times 3 fifths. And when I do that, 6 times 2 will give me 12, and 6 times 3 fifths will give me 18 fifths. So before I add those, I'm going to write 12. I'm going to change 18 fifths into, it should be 3 and 5, 3 fifths, sorry. And when I add that, I'll get 15 and 3 fifths. Okay, and D, do the same thing. We're going to change it to 2 times 7 plus 3 tenths. Then we're going to use the distributive property and we're going to say 2 times 7 plus that 2 times 3 tenths. And that 2 times 7 is going to give you 14 and 2 times 3 tenths is going to give you 6 tenths. And when I add this together I'm just going to get 14 and 6 tenths. The next two, I'm going to skip some of those steps that make it a little bit longer, but still use them if it helps you. Okay, on E we have 8 times 7 and 1 fourth, so I'm just going to, instead of having to add the plus and do all that, I'm going to go ahead and just write it as 8 times 7 and 8 times 1 fourth. When I do that, 8 times 7 will give me 56. <coughs> and then I'll have 8 fourths. Well, 8 fourths is the same thing as 2. So 56 plus 2 will give you 58 as your final answer. Okay, let's try the next one. 3 and 3 eighths times 12. So I'm going to rewrite this as 12 times 3. Now, it doesn't matter that the mixed number came first. It's still going to work the same way. 12 times 3 and 12 times 3 eighths. Well, 12 times 3 is 36. And I'll get 36 eighths here. Then I'll have 36 plus, and 36 eighths as a mixed number is going to be 
four and four eighths. When I add those two, I'll get 40 and four eighths as my final answer. Okay, last two. Sarah Street is two and three, ter three tenths miles long. She ran the length of the street six times. How far did she run? So I'm gonna say six times two and three tenths, which is the same as saying six times two plus six times three tenths. And six times two will give me 12. Six times three tenths will give me 18 tenths. 18 tenths is the same thing as one and eight tenths. When I add those together, I'll get 13 and eight tenths. And that's kind of hard to see. It's all smushed over here, so I'm gonna move it over with an arrow. So my final answer is 13 and 8 tenths miles. Okay, Kelly's new puppy weighed 4 and 7 tenths pounds when she brought him home. Now he weighs 6 times as much. How much does he weigh now? So I'm going to take 6 times 4 and 7 tenths. So it's going to be the same thing as saying 6 times 4 and 6 times 7 tenths. Six times four is going to give you 24. Six times seven tenths is going to give you 42 tenths. And 42 tenths is the same thing as four and two tenths. So all together you get 22, I'm sorry, 28 and four tenths, two tenths pounds is how much the puppy weighs. All right, thanks guys.